Hey dorks! How's it going? Howdy, howdy, howdy! It's Unchatter time, it's Dwarf Fortress time, and I see JM is here and stuck in a hotel room. That sounds lovely. <laughs> oh, we don't have our... Uh, there was one thing I didn't do, and it is right here. Sorry, I'm in a mood. Uh, it's Monday. Uh, yeah, it's Monday. Um, but I'm excited. This will be fun. Uh, we're gonna start a new fortress. That's cool. That's, we've only done that a couple times, haven't we? Uh, this will be fortress number four. Number four. Hooray. Um... And yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna make another attempt at reaching Metropolis as fast as possible. We tried. We succeeded in our last fortress. It took us a, a just over five years total, like five years and a month in game, uh, which is you know mediocre. <laughs> I think I wouldn't call that fast. I would call that you know accomplishing it with intention. Uh, it's like, it's like walking with purpose, but not quite running, you know? Uh, so I think we can definitely do better. Um, and there's a couple different things that we're going to try. Uh, and we're mostly just going to hop into it. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is embark though. Uh, the, the last time we did this, uh, I, I embarked off stream and we just kind of hopped in and started digging. Uh, but this time I want to do that on, uh, on stream. Uh, so and I haven't I haven't really looked at our world again since we since we you know looked previously. Um, I did play uh, Hatchet Net through to the end of the year, so we will be embarking in the spring. Oh, and I forgot today's sponsor. Today is sponsored by um, what did I even pick? Oh, the sun, that thing that's going away. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So yeah, we're starting on. First of Granite, 155, and then the game will progress about two weeks in, and then uh, we will go from there. And I've been doing some reading and some thinking and some reviewing of my notes. Um, I, I think I'll be able to do this with a little bit more intention here. Skip tutorial. Yes, we're, we're fine. We know what we're doing. Um, but here's our world. Uh, the same as ever. Here's here's Hatchet Net, right? Uh, yeah, Cattle Kib, Dwarven Fortress, uh, and it now. How many? Does it say how many people are in there? Not really. Oh, first of all, before I forget, we're choosing our origin civilization. It even defaults to the correct one. Um, you can see, yeah, Dip Ceiling is is where we've been doing our long fortresses. I accidentally, our, our previous fortress, Hatchet Net, was accidentally in a different civilization, but I meant to keep them all the same. Uh, so this time I'm gonna do it on purpose. Uh, but we're we're the Dip Ceiling. I think what was the other one we? What is Hatchet Net? Is it this one, the Unbridled Artifact? Uh, no, that's not. That's not at all. Uh, yeah, okay. So, and you can see, you know, the general population of each of our civilizations. Uh, the dipped ceiling is the big one. So, of course, the corridors of oil down here on the southern side of the of the world is also getting large. Um, but yeah, so we, we're going to be the dipped ceiling. And we're going to find an embark location. And I'm going to say a 2x2. Two two. A 2x2 two two worked very nice last time. Um, I would prefer... Let's just do... Let's do let's do whatever on those. Um, I embarked to a low elevation place last time, hoping that that would put us closer to magma, but it certainly didn't, so I'm not going to care this time. The goblins are taking over the northwest. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are the goblins. Those are the goblins that we were fighting. Um, here's... Here's Elder Ring and here's Face Earths. And I kind of kind of want to come into the same either this area is what I'm thinking or we can come over into this area cuz this is where our civilization started, like our original mountain home that was formed in in World Gen uh is over in this part. So there's a bunch of dwarven sites over here in our civilization too. 
Uh, so somewhere, somewhere around here is kind of where I'm hoping to end up, but we'll see how that works. Um, the main things we care about is we want Fluxstone because we want, we do want to do steel because we found out that was important <laughs> in the later part. Um, I'm going to say no to a heavy aquifer, but we can deal with a light one. That's fine. We want to have a river. We don't necessarily care about soil specifically, but I do want clay. I might say, let's say clay and sand and iron and gold. And then I want to say platinum and aluminum. I'm curious if that will get us anything. Because aluminum and platinum are tied for the highest value uh, stuff. And gold is gold is pretty good. And then like silver is worth the same as iron. So I'm not even going like, to bother with, with silver and stuff. Um, so no heavy aquifer. Luckstone. I'm, I'm, I've always been curious about the drainage part. I don't know what drainage actually actually does. Because, uh, I mean, there's river, yes or no, but there's drainage separately. So, unclear. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, let's leave Let's leave all those alone because we can, we can deal with some savagery. I don't know that we can deal with evil, but we'll see if that's like... If that's like the only thing that comes up, then maybe we'll maybe we'll deal with it. Um, yeah, let's see what let's see what this pulls up first. Uh, and, and yeah, um, I'm also going to prepare carefully. Um, I've been using the default embark setup uh, in our previous fortresses, uh, but we can do we can we can be more picky. Um, and the main thing I'm going to try to do with that... Okay, so we have a bunch. We have a bunch of places we can go. Oh, we can go into our little, uh, our little valley here. This is Face Earth right here. Could go into, like, the same area. But I do want to be a little further south, don't I? I don't want to be, I don't want to be freezing the whole time. Uh, because that was, that was a pain in the butt. Um, so that goes down here. Parcel match. So even, okay, so we didn't get, we didn't get everything. We didn't get aluminum, okay. Fair enough. Uh, man, aluminum must just really be rare, like super, super rare. Uh, Cause I've never, I don't think I've ever actually seen it in, in practice. I don't think I've ever actually done anything with aluminum. Um, but we'll, we'll try this. We'll see. I mean, in theory, they're just going to give the same, same results, but they're actual results this time. Uh, but we don't want to freeze too much because I'm going to do the same thing with the waterfall. I'm just going to divert a river. So if the river freezes, then we, we lose waterfall. Uh, unless we do more things, but I don't want to do more things, you know? Um, I mean, here's, I mean, here's Elder Ring here. We could come into like the wilds around our capital. And this is... I mean, this is even further south than our because uh, because Hatchetnet was up here. I mean, so Hatchetnet was here and Faith's Earth is here. Like, the difference in how much we froze between these two. Maybe it was just partly the the mountains. Maybe also had an impact there. It's not just latitude, right? Um, I'm curious how that works though. Um. But, I mean, we could try to narrow this down a little bit more. Uh, what else would we care about? Let's say no, let's say normal spirit. Just to, to, to take out evil things. Uh, that might be, might be worth doing. Though I, I'm curious about the, there is the opposite of evil. There are enchanted lands. I'm curious if there'd be a benefit to go into one of those places. I don't know that I've ever actually done that before. Have I only done neutral and evil? It's possible I've only ever done neutral and evil. I'm just keeping an eye on the creature down there. This didn't really seem to change uh, what we have access to here. So 
over here would be interesting. This is all human stuff, right? I'm thinking about attracting outside sites that we can request people from. What if we went over here? So if I go... Like this is all untamed wild, so it's going to be a little bit more rambunctious. Um, and we want we want to have both the humans and the elves as neighbors. Because the dwarves will always show up because they're our civilization. But we want to have elves and humans show up so that we can at least get XP for our appraiser. What's down here? Tin lead. Because these are all these are all human hamlets. Can we like attract human hamlets to be part of our stuff? I think in theory you can, but I don't know how. We didn't succeed with that last time. Um, and clearly there's a bunch of stuff around here. This is all dwarven stuff, right? This is all trades. There's trade spins. Fortress clinches. This should all be us. And then what's this? This is a cold, heavily forested jungle. A frozen jungle called the Jungle of Cinders. Of course. Um, and then these are all... These are all dwarven hillocks. Okay. So what if we... Like come over here. Cause this is cause, so six world tiles is the radius for for holdings and stuff, so be uh like one, two, three, four, six. I mean that would catch a couple of them. What's over here? These are... What does it say? Human camps? And then these... I mean, these are all... These are all hillocks. Maybe maybe here's where we go. Maybe just right up in here. Dyke snail. Seed living. <laughs> it's the opposite of what we're going to be doing. Uh, so there is clay, there is soil, not not sand, but sand is the one that I care less about, I think. It's wilderness. I think I like this. This has platinum. This has iron. This has flux. It has gold. Interesting. So then, so like here... This is a hillux, this is a hillux, this is a hillux. So we can go like right next to the hillux. I think there's a benefit to that. And look, there's all these little sites in here. Yeah, this is cool. So here's that, uh, there's a dwarven fort. Yeah. This is cool. You didn't used to be able to like actually scroll in this uh, zoomed in bit. So here's trade spins. You can even see these roads. Uh, you sure that's what those are? Does it, where does that go? Does that go all the way? This goes pretty far. This goes to clench painted. <laughs> um, those might be underground highways. Maybe someday we'll embark on top of a, of a dwarven highway. That'd be kind of cool. I think right now we want... So this is untamed wilds, untamed wilds, untamed wilds. Uh, depressed peak. <laughs> uh, a lot of this is going to be untamed wilds. Is there anywhere that's not? This is just wilderness up here. Uh, Stab martyr, the aim of tips. Okay. We got clay, soil, aquifer, iron, gold, platinum, flux. We're close to elves, we're close to humans, we're right next to our dwarven hillocks. I think I like that. 
Uh, these are all, what's the, this is all temperate shrubland, but it's cold. Hmm. It's a little further north than I would want, isn't it? Maybe, maybe we just deal with that. Maybe that's just something we deal with. Because, I mean, we could do... Dwarven Tower. Interesting. 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 Um, or we could come down a little further south. I'm also curious, like, this is, you know, on these... On these hills, as opposed to in mountains. I am curious if that, like, what kind of impact that has on... Uh, the winter and stuff. The freezing. I don't know. And this is, what, seed living the stream? And here it's a brook. It's only moderate vegetation. I would love like a bunch of vegetation because that's going to be, you know, how we, um, see, this is, see it's temperate down here. It's cold up here. It's temperate down here. Oh, interesting. It's temperate here, but cold here. No, it's cold out here, but temperate in here. I see. I see. So maybe we go, maybe we go in here. It's heavily forested, thickly vegetated as soil, clay, sand, aquifer, iron, gold, flux, platinum. Maybe this is what we do. Temperate conifer forest. And clearly the, the hillocks can be done around here because because you know they're here they're in this shrubland they're in this forest they're in this shrubland they're in this forest so we got shrubland and forest so yeah let's do this maybe we'll get some hillocks maybe we'll get some hillocks and of course we're going into untamed wilds uh, click umbark to place your fortress okay so nope we're gonna do a two by two again because i liked how that worked Selected an area with a light aquifer. Yeah, that's fine. Selected a savage area. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you selected an area near a necromancer's tower. I mean, I saw... I saw a tower, but wasn't that... Uh, it said it was a dwarven tower. Uh, what if I go back? Because, like, there's this one, right? Is this the one they're talking about? Tour squeezes? I mean, that would be a recipe for some fun, that's for sure. It's the only tower I see. But it's not part of a civilization, so it is just... There's a necromancer dwarf up there. I mean... That mean that we're gonna get that warning for everything around here, right? We're gonna have to go pretty far abroad to not have that problem. So maybe we just go for it. Cliffs, that's, I mean, that's all, yeah, it's a forest. Uh, let's, I mean, let's go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Um, the other thing that I want to do is prepare carefully. Um, and I was taking some quick notes about what skills we want. The main thing, the, the, very basic main thing. Um, the default, the default embark loadout gives you, you know, kind of a nice range of of skills. And it does give you someone with appraiser, but not the highest amount of appraiser that you can have. Um, it's like one below the highest that you can embark with, so we won't be gaining a whole lot here. But I do want to start with a proficient appraiser. So I kind of came up with a little list of the skills that I want with our starting people here. So we're going to do proficient miner and proficient appraiser. What is it? Oh, they're all in tabs. That's handy. 
Um, I haven't done this in the new in the new version. So there, there's a pr proficient appraiser. Um, and then for you, we're gonna do proficient miner. And then you're gonna be like a. That's right. You get like all this the social stuff. Uh, organizer. Adequate organizer, adequate persuader. It's in here somewhere. No. Um, is it persuader? Adequate persuader. Novice negotiator. That's fine. Um, and then you're a carpenter. Crucial. Interesting. Uh, and proficient engraver, really over here. Mm -hmm. Is engraver crucial? It is interesting. Okay. Uh, and then this is going to be a mason and a fisher. And this is don't, if you're laughing at me. If someone's watching this and be like, what are you doing it that way? It's because I don't know what I'm doing. I have a I have a guess here, but we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, and then you're a metal crafter. And a gem cutter. And then you are gonna be a hunter. That in here that's probably not that's probably combat well I, I also want you to be a fighter I do want to start with a decent hunter especially if we're going to untamed wilds no is it over here Hunter. Hunter is a skill. I thought. Maybe it's just a labor. I thought it was a skill. Hmm. Hello, creature. Here to help me plan carefully. Yeah, am I am I misthinking there? Uh, let's see. Hunter. Ambusher. Start with the hunting labor. Automatically use the ambusher skill. Okay, so let's do proficient ambusher. Surely that's in here somewhere. Appraiser. One to get no control F abilities. Hmm. Sure. Not a labor, right? No, it is. Weird. Fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, and then we want you to be a record keeper. You know, in here somewhere. There you are. Proficient record keeper. 
and a stone crafter. You're probably over here. Stone cutter, stone carver, engraver, stone crafter. My goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we have our whole, like, wagon worth of stuff as well. Uh, and we have... Okay, so it gave us... It started us out with the basic stuff. Um, and then we still have points left to use. So we have some cloth. We have some seeds that we probably won't use. But we'll bring those with us just in case. Um, I do want the anvil because I think we're going to do some early uh, smithing. And we've got two picks. It's probably fine. We've got two battle axes. It's probably fine. I, I definitely want a crossbow so that our hunter can just go immediately. Um, 15 pawn turtles? Sure. Um, yeah, it doesn't start you with a crossbow. Very strange. Let's go down to weapons. And... I don't see cross... Oh, here we go. Uh, so a copper crossbow would be 20. You could get an iron crossbow for that matter. Uh, but let's do... Let's do copper. One copper crossbow. And then... Maybe some ammo? Is that smart? So you can just like start immediately? How many... Is that what, seriously one iron bolt? Oh my god. Okay, maybe not. We'll, we'll make bolts early. Holy cow. We could do copper. But even then, that is not, that is not worth it. I'd rather find copper and just make stuff right off the bat, you know? Um, let's do, I'm also going to do, I'm going to say two, two starting miners is probably fine. We're going to have a lot of other things we need to do. Uh, booze is going to be important. Meals are going to be important. Can we embark with meals? Just the, just the food. 15 per hair, giant, great horned owl kidney. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, more ropes are probably good. Quivers, buckets, splints. Um, or like these? Like, we can make a stepladder and uh, a wheelbarrow very easily. Maybe we just... I can't just like put in a number or something. And embark with, you know, a lot of booze. There's no... I can't just hold on it. Ugh. Okay, fine. Do that. And... I mean, all these pond turtles? Why not? Oh, and are there animals in here? This isn't giving us... Oh, no, it is. It is! Or no, it... but it's not giving us any. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, but we could just do a straight-up hunting dog. Uh, let's do... A male hunting dog and a female dog. And then two cats. We could do that. And then can I do like an alpaca or a llama? Those are probably expensive. Yak, llama. They're expensive, but I mean, that might be worth it. Well, mm, that is really hard to say, isn't it? Because I'm, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do a lot for um, clothing again, because that worked well. So, what, what gives leather? What's the best animal for just breeding for leather? We could do like a cow. Those are oh man, those are 
Cow cow. Use up all our points. I have no idea if that's smart. Uh leather. Doesn't really say as far as animals go. More moose, please. Um, you know what? Let's try it. I'm gonna try let's try breeding some cows. I'm gonna let those go nuts, uh, and we will use them as a source for leather, maybe? We'll see if that ends up even being worth it. My hunch is that it's probably better to just import leather, but at least for this first year. They're not gonna start breeding until, like, we won't be able to harvest any until, like, a couple years in anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see. Um, and the rest of these can be turtles. That's fine. Let's call that good. Um, and I'm gonna save this. Metro V1. Because we can come back and reuse this profile for a different embark if we so choose. Uh, and then let's... One point remains. Yeah, that's fine. Look at these big trees. We got some thick boys. Faded Sling. Oh, interesting. Our fortress is named Faded Sling. Okay. Terambim. Alrighty. Uh, so here we are. You have arrived. This is the same thing each time, but uh, almost no supplies left. Yes, yes. So immediately pausing. We have some administrative tasks to take care of before we let them go nuts. Um, I'm curious what we have. I see a bunch of pine. I see ginkgo. Oh, have I ever seen a ginkgo tree? That's cool. A uh, large ginkgo almond, walnut, walnut. I'm also curious what's going to give us food. Uh, we got some willows. We got some larch. Almond, a lot of almond. Uh, but here we got ratweed, we got lentils, we got a foxtail, garden cress. So we got food on the ground. Cranberry, ooh, we can brew those for sure. Lots of cranberries, walnut tree saplings. Okay, cool. And we also got all these little ponds. That's kind of cool too. And then here we have uh, sandy clay, a frog, a green tree frog. Hello. Um, this whole area down here looks to be either silt or clay, uh, which is what we expect and kind of want. Uh, first things first, we're going to have to like build a bridge across this as well, because like brooks, you don't have to put a bridge over because you can just walk on top of a brook. This is a real river. This is a whole dang river. Uh, so we're going to have to actually put a bridge over it. So if any, you know, if any migrants show up on this side, uh, they'll need a bridge to get across. Uh, but first things first, we are going to do... Uh, we're going to pull up my reference. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to do we're going to do our stair. Very... Well, first, we're going to go into our... The, oh, whatever. We're going to go into our labor screen. See what everyone ended up with. Uh, we have our two proficient miners. And that's what they're going to do for now. We have uh, our hunter. So you're going to be a hunter. Uh, we have a woodcutter. Uh, everyone's going to be a planter, but no one's going to be planting. We have our fishers going to be fishing. Uh, we should do some plant gathering as well. Uh, who wants to be... Do I make the hunter and the fisher also plant gatherers? Or do I make those be different people? I don't know. Um, and we, we're starting with a proficient engraver on purpose. So I'm definitely going to say you you start with engraving turned on. Because uh, I'd like to start doing that way sooner than we did last time. Um, everybody does that. And then well, I'm just going to say you do th the two of you do that. That gives everyone one or two things, right? So that's that's good. Um, 
So we're going to dig a stair. And I kind of want to just start in the middle. There's not really any rhyme or reason. There's just all these little ponds. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pick... I'm just going to pick a spot. Uh, like here, maybe? Yeah, this, yeah here. Uh, so I'm just going to go down until... Until we hit a cave and or an aquifer. And that's all that is. I'm even going to make this high priority. Surely we will hit a cave in there. Um, I want to set some trees for chopping. Um, and I'm going to say... I mean, do, does Ginkgo give edible stuff? Or are these just... Giant ass trees. Uh, well, there are, I mean, larch we can cut for sure. Hazel, interesting. Walnut, almond, almond, walnut, hazel, willow, but it's by the freaking water. They'll, if you chop a tree right by the water here, half the logs will just fall into the water. It's, it's silly. Um, do so you and you and you. And then we can do some over here, hazel. Willow. Ooh, bayberries! More bayberries! Excellent. It's just like home. Uh, walnut, almond, almond, bayberry, pine, larch. That's probably fine to start with. Um, and we're going to set a plant gathering zone. Yes, okay. Gather fruit. And it's just going to be this whole middle part, really. Um, yeah, that's fine. Accept. And they gather all their fruit in there. And we have two people assigned to be doing that. And then, uh, same thing with fishing. It's an interesting idea. Uh, do we fish from the pond or from the river? You know, I may just not... Oh, that's kind of funny. Just ended up right next to it. Um, I might not actually set a fishing zone. And we'll just let, let them... We'll let our fisher wander around. River fish? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's do... Well, maybe let, we can do both, for that matter. Uh, we can do fishing. And let's say... I want you to stay on this side of... I want him to stay on this side of the river. Uh, so we'll say there, but then we'll also say like here. And there. So you can fish in those locations. Okay. Um, oh, and pasture. Because we do have two cows. We did bring two cows and a yak cow. Is that just for free? Is that because it pulled the wagon? Oh look, we have carp and pike. Yeah, we just get a bonus yak cow. Okay, and a horse. Okay. Um, so I do want to say, let's make a pasture. So I don't want them wandering it off. We're gonna have some visitors pretty soon here, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we'll do like, do like this. And I do have DF hack running, but I'm going to resist using it for a lot of things. Um, mostly it's going to help with like um, the planner. It's kind of probably the only thing I'm going to use it for. Um, but you four go in there and then you four are fine. And because we have a hunting dog, we can just straight up assign that to our hunter already, right? So it's not just wandering around. Uh, work animal for a specific resident, yes. And then our hunter, id. Perfect. And then this is just our stray dog. Uh, I mostly want to keep you safe for breeding purposes. So maybe you go in, maybe you go in there too. Uh, stray dog. And then the cats can just be cats. The cats can be cats. Um, okay. 
surface pasture zone, surface refuse and corpse stockpile. Those are also important. Uh, so those can go kind of over here. Let's do refuse and corpse. surface refuse and that's just all of the refuse for now and then you are oh it's all one i just made a single Ugh. okay uh here 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 now a new stockpile and you are four corpses blam And then a temporary wood stockpile up here. Um, and that's gonna go by our stairs. So that's for that's for wood. We set our mining labor. Uh, and I am do I yeah, do I restrict them to mining? Yeah. The miners are important. The miners are gonna mine, and they might just mine forever. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let them go, and I have removed the frame ca frame cap, so this is gonna go at a hundred frames a second. And they're gonna do everything very quickly. That's good for me. Damn stone located. Okay, cool. Uh, immediately into aquifer, right? Yeah. Okay. You know that's fine. Um, I'd rather find it now than later. Um, so we'll just we'll plow through it. There's damp black sand. Cool. Um, and then this is what loam. Oh, and then they're and then they're good. No, this is also. I'm not canceling. And here's chalk. Oh, excellent. That's good to see. Um, so I probably, since it is like the surface, one, two, three, three and a half. Mm. And then what's this chalk? So let's do, let's do this. Uh, I'll do the same thing we normally do as far as, uh, well, no, how do we do this? Maybe we, maybe we just seal this one up. Okay, so then that's all damp because, of course, uh, because there's there's actual water down here. But I think... I think we just do like this. Give it a place to drain into for the moment. And then here... We'll smooth. And then this is all loam, so we'll dig it out. And we'll wall that in with wood. Same thing here. And then that's fine. There's only, it's only two floors that we have to actually wall in. I think that's fine. And because it's, you know, clay and loam and junk, they will be able to do that pretty quickly. So I'm just come in and do walls. Uh, and I'm gonna, yeah. It's all just gonna be. I could even do it with our chalk. No, no, wood, wood, wood for now. And you're smoothing. And you're still digging. Perfect. And then here, we also want walls here. Okay, so there's our creatures. Um, yes, you found... So there's nothing to catch in the central swamps. So that's probably... That's probably in these ones. What are you doing? You're gathering plants. Okay. Um... Yeah. Oh, and here's Jet. 
Perfect. Man, this is all- this is gonna be a lot of chalk. We already have three layers of chalk? That's a really good sign. Um, who is set to... Who makes walls? Does anyone make walls? So our, our two miners already have no jobs. Maybe let's do, for the moment, let's do, um... Let's do that and see if they'll help with making the walls. And smoothing that, that's fine. Okay. They're working on it. They're working on it. As long as everyone's doing something, I think we're fine. Uh, of course, we don't have like an actual... Um, stockpile for anything yet. Um, so I don't want to dig, I don't want to, I don't really want to dig much on this level. Um, but let's just get our, our starting everything zone going here. We'll dig it out of sand. That is not aquifer. That seems like the smart thing there. And then we'll keep digging down. Uh, but this will give us a place to put everything inside. So all of our, our plant gatherers can, you know, put it somewhere. Generally important. Okay, so that all got built. So then we do wall like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, this very high up aquifer is going to be great fun to deal with but so it goes um oh and there's there is going to be some aquifer or no that's that's just going to be that's just because we're below a pond that's that's a fine so here uh we want a nice big everything stockpile Um, so let's do all, except for those two, and except for wood. And... Yeah. Yeah, all that stuff. Okay. So now there's gonna be a place for those things. And we want to disassemble the wagon. And now there's a bunch of hauling for people to do. This also a lake? Yeah, okay. That's fine. There's a fish. Real raw steelhead trout. Perfect. Okay. So that's all good. I'll just fill that in real quick. Now, my notes. Dig temp stockpiles and workshops. Yes. Make everything minus wood stockpile. Disassemble wagon. Uh, dig a temporary dormitory. Uh, duh, duh, that's not what I meant to do. Now, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. We have. To, we do have to be strategic about this. Um, I want to keep digging down first. Now that we've sealed the aquifer above us, unless there's more aquifer below us, which there very well could be. Yeah, is this all aquifer too? No, maybe not. It might just be the water coming down with us. Yeah, this all seems fine. Limestone. Limestone. Limestone's also good. Limestone's also a flux stone. And there's some shirt. There's some stuff. Here's some tetrahedrite. Very good. Uh, shirt. Shirt. I wonder how far we're gonna have to go for our, our first cave layer. Or if we're just gonna like accidentally punch straight through it. That's a thing. Um, let's go down to like minus 20 maybe since that's a thing we can do without too much effort um, give them all a chance to start moving stuff and we will make their are you finding damp stone 
Is there damp stone down here? Okay, there's a cave. Found it. Perfect. Okay. And look, it's all muddy again. That is very strange. If someone understands what causes that, I'd be very curious. Um, but here's our cave. Uh, so let's... Erase these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now we know where our first cave is, which is important for, you know, planning all of our junk. Um, and then I'm just gonna... I don't know why... Where's that tiny bit? There might be aquifer on this level. I guess we'll see. Cast it right. Hmm. Um, and we're just gonna. This is just gonna go down to there. And this is. I don't think that's passable. But that this one needs to be closed. I'm gonna do a floor. Uh, what do you mean? Locked this location. You can get on the other one. Whatever. Try now. Floor. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then we'll just use that rock right there. That's fine. So then uh, so then okay. So that's that's step 1 done. Um and we're in theory through our aquifer. So we're we're good in that sense and then you know, we'll finish of course, but uh, do that. And then okay. Now I want to dig a dormitory, um, and that's just going to be here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, oh, and just animals being underground too. Uh, do you think we'll? <laughs> do you think we'll actually get uh, stuff to grow in here? I'm gonna guess it's not gonna do this. It's gonna be weird again. Um, I'm gonna say our... So I can pasture... I can pasture things in here. And I'm gonna do this just so that things are inside. So no one... Because, so, you know, is, are we getting visitors yet? Uh, no, not yet. Is this just a wild turkey? That's just a wild turkey. Okay. Uh, is our hunter going to be able to take care of a wild turkey? I kind of hope so. Are you... Our hunter is storing stuff. That's fair. Um, we should get a bridge going sooner rather than later so that we can cross uh, and we can do this out of out of logs. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah, uh, we want, uh, a meeting, a meeting area, just for the sake of having a meeting area. Um, it's just gonna also be in here. Sure. Uh, and then, oh, and we want to, like, actually secure this bit, too. Okay. Um, and I'm going to even do just a little bit longer of an entryway here so we can put some cage traps like in here. That's so that'll be space for four cage traps. And then we can do uh, construct some stairs, go up like this, right? So that we can build a roof. And then we're going to make another bridge like this perfect and it's all made out of wood so we can upset all of the animals perfect um okay and then we're building a bunch of workshops uh, da, 
bitte, bitte. Stoneworker. Oh, I should like take one more row. Um, well, now our miners aren't doing anything, right? Now our miners are constructing buildings. I guess, no, you, I, need, I really do need you mining at all times, don't I? Um, yeah, so let's go. So what's the next digging project? Uh, temporary offices for manager and bookkeeper. Okay, fair enough. So we'll do like this, or no. I'm trying to also keep in mind what's going to be happening next. Do that. That is some digging, at the very least. And then uh, more workshops. I'm going to want crafts. You know, if we're going to have that much chalk, then I'm just going to use the chalk. Um, one of each of the food shops. I want to still. And of course I just, whatever. These are all going to get disassembled. That's fine. Um, a butcher. A tanner. In case we do actually manage to kill something. Um... Fishery for sure. Definitely fishing. On the kitchen. Okay, still butcher, tanner, fisher, kitchen. I don't need a farmer quite yet. So soon, probably. Um... We don't have any birds. Oh, I wonder if we could catch turkeys. We could catch turkeys in theory. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to hunt them. Um, I want a carpenter. And now I need more space. <laughs> uh, a mechanic. I did want like a third stone crafter. Uh, I'm not going to do a boyer because we embarked with a thing, but I can do a leather worker. Is that a farmer? No. Clothing and leather. Leather. Then I, I do kind of want to start with, well, at the very least, okay. I'm looking at my notes and going, why am I doing that? And then going, oh yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Um, I am going to just immediately make a smelter, a kiln, and a glass furnace. If only to look at the instruments available. Um, so I want, I want a smelter, which is a furnace. It's a normal smelter. Kiln. And then I already need more space. Hilarious. Uh, let's just do that. And then I'll let them do all that. Um, and we don't have... I'm going to need like furniture and stuff before I can actually set these up. We have literally nothing so far. But you know, that's how that goes. Uh... And then what else do I want? I want a glass furnace, and that's gonna be that's gonna be it for now. You can go, you can go here. Whatever. Okay. Uh, set one shop to repeat craft rock mugs. Yeah. I mean, do I do mugs or do I do? Or 
just do like crafts. I think I might just do crafts right off the bat. Like I want to start creating wealth right now. <laughs> I want to start right this moment. Um, so I want to do a bookkeeper, which is you, and a broker, which is you. Yeah, proficient appraiser, see? Very, very nice. Um, and then a manager. Well, that's what the organizer is for. We should definitely have a proficient organizer. Make note of that. So I don't like persuader and negotiator. I don't know. Okay. Good enough. And then the rest of these are fine. Uh, I don't care about them right now. Um, and you're all building your stuff. And then I'm going to need to give them more digging, aren't I? Uh, what's next? We got a dormitory. Um, I don't... I'm not going to dig for a pasture. I mean, I wonder if... This is loam. The loam inside an aquifer, that should that should make a pasture, right? That should That should. Um And then yeah. Oh and then okay. Here. Since we've already found the cave with our main our main thing here, uh, we have we have a drain already. So that means I wanna come. How do I do this? I mean, I just want it to flow down right here. Uh, let's do cancel, and then I could do a grate if I make a if I make a grate, make two grates. Because um, I can I could just channel here, right? And then just put two grates there, and then that will drain just fine. I'm going to say, you know, yeah, that's fine. Um, rock, great. And just make two of those for right the moment. I'm also going to say uh, some beds. Uh, let's say, let's say five beds. I probably have a whole thing in here, right? Uh, yeah, make, make five beds, make dormitory, two chairs, make offices. crossbows, bolts. Oh, we should make bolts. Uh, we can do... I mean, wooden bolts are kind of useless in some senses, but also... Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I'll just do five of those, because that makes like a stack of 25 each time. Uh... That's fair enough. Uh, so we'll let them do all those things. Oh, we have we have some space before our cave. Holy cow. Um, okay, so then I want to look make instrument piece. So there's no glass singletons. Uh, make instrument piece. There's no clay singletons. What about our um of course, I made a smelter. I want a um, an actual metal worker, don't I? Metal smith. Okay, so then one one of our stone workers is not going to accept work orders, and is just going to do uh, crafts. No, this is a stone worker shop. No, I want craft work. There, you. Do not take. Um, oh, here's make an instrument. These are all assemble. Oh, but Aerith and Ud and Mib requires unrotten bone part. Interesting. Okay, well. 
we'll cross that road. Uh, but you, I just want you making rock rats on repeat. And that's fine. What are we? Okay, that's fine. That's all fine. And then... Uh, okay, so I mean, at the very least, it is going to drain. So that's not a big... We're not going to flood. Uh, we made our... We've not made our mark great quite yet. That's fine. Um, oh, and then the roof to this thing. That's the thing. All right, now you... Still waiting for you to actually make the stairs. Okay. Fair enough. Um, oh, and some doors. I do want to make some doors, don't I? doors. You gotta have doors. I can't call something a room if it don't got a door. Hope your Monday was okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's a Monday. But, you know. Uh, okay, so our miners are not quite doing anything yet. I'm also just, I mean, can I call it a dormitory? I guess I can. Except, um, and I'm gonna say these are offices. Can I, can I assign it to them? Uh, I know bookkeeper was one. Is it, is our expedition leader is also our manager, okay. Does that satisfy you? You don't have a chair in there, but you have an office. Literally a hole in the ground, but that's fine. Uh, what about you? Make instrument peace. Yeah, okay. I wonder if we just got really lucky with our other civilization. Interesting. Well, we will figure that out. Uh, needs office. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. It's not really an office, is it? Okay, fine. They're working on it. They're working on it. So now our miners... I just want to come down to... This, right? I think I want to do... No, loam. Damp loam. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna disassemble... A pair of these. And then I'm gonna dig. Yeah, and it's just it's gonna it's gonna do this constantly. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fine. So it's going to like, even if we wall all of this off, we're going to get dripping from above because because this is aquifer as well. Where are you going? Get back here. Okay. 
So I'm curious, curious what that will do. Um, I mean, we got it's it's going to be a bunch of mud. So at the very least, we could grow crops there if we really wanted to. Um, and then this is kind of the or no, this level was aquifer, right? And then this level's not. I don't think I really want to do anything above here as far as like fortress stuff goes. Um, okay, where am I at? Uh, we're making we're making crafts, right? We're we're making crafts. We already got some stuff here. Um, in theory, we're making we have made a throne, maybe. Uh, here's one. Now you have an office, right? Is that how that works? And I'm curious if our hunter's gonna hunt. Our hunter, uh, you're making crafts. Maybe you go... Maybe you go hunt. And then, and then we need to be digging. Uh, and there's a bunch of work orders, right? And then, yeah, okay. That's where we're at. Wow. Um, I'll wait until we get our other chair. <laughs> there we go. So we made some bolts. In theory, we have some bolts. Yeah. Okay. So let me like five stacks of wooden bolts. Perfect. Theory, we don't got much out out here. Why? So we also need like this stuff needs to go inside like quickly. Uh, it can take it can take food and stuff. Maybe that's what we do. Return kill. Hey, that's cool. Uh, is that you? You got a skunk. You killed a skunk. Interesting. Uh, oh, and I can look at this. Yeah, this this is new. You can just go to a creature and look at their combat log. Flying Giko Wood Bolt strikes the skunk. The skunk looks sick. Perfect. Perfect. We're getting fish to show up. We have a fishery. Yeah, we have a fishery. You're preparing a fish. We're already getting shells and stuff here. Um, I'm even going to say that this is able to take shells and bones and skulls. And that this one is not. There, you can take tea. Now I would love for you to like actually move. I don't want this to rot. Let's call this... I mean, we could just say it gives. Is that... Is that gonna work? Um, or at least call it like a food stockpile and say it doesn't... Like, it doesn't accept anywhere. Uh, but it is a... But it is a food stockpile. So our food... Like our... Just so our food doesn't rot. That's... That's important. Um... Still waiting for this. What was that? I just saw something running. Well, those Droth is down there. And a Wombat! Hey look, it's a Wombat! The Wombat is seriously injured. Are you being hunted? The Wombat is being hunted. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> well, oh look, another Wombat. Cool. Uh, so that part at least is working right off the bat. Uh, let's see if we have our other chair here. Yeah. Cool. And this is a dormitory, right? Yeah. And then they all want food, because of course they do. This is just straight up flooding, because of course it is. 
Hmm. But now I want it to like dry out, right? Hmm. Well, at the very least, this is all just. Yeah, we're just we're just already flooding our our cave. <laughs> Neat. Um, let's do a floor grate. Have one of them. We have so we've made them both. They're just not both in a being registered yet. That's fine. Food can go here, people. What are you doing? Constructing? Are you? Are you? Is it really a cave if you aren't filling it with liquids? True. Green tree frog remains. Be merry. What are you doing? Are you... are you injured? No. Very weak. Are you trying to build our stairs here? Could I do this? Okay. <laughs> that dwarf could not haul logs, apparently. Uh, so let's try that again. Not mining. I want to construct stairs like that. Yeah. Hopefully someone else gets it this time. We're already tanning hides. We're gonna get wombat leather. Uh, and there's not gonna be anyone available to feed our critters, so maybe I do put them back up. Hmm. Now the dog can stay down there. Against my better judgment, we'll do this because then at least the dwarves don't have to like feed them manually. Okay, you're much better. <laughs> you're much faster, aren't you? Or are you? Are you? We should make some wheelbarrows. And it's already summer. Holy cow. That was a, a productive first season, I think. Um, we got all these workshops built, and now, and now I think we are putting in our initial work orders and planning our fortress. I think that's what we're doing. And making sure that we are um, this stupid Excel sheet. Um, so you're all fine, right? Okay, so clearly you can hunt. Um, I'm not going to say that you must hunt, but uh, you can hunt, clearly. Now, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put in a bunch of work orders. So we're going to do rock door. All right. And then leave all these uh, at defaults. 10 rock doors. It's going to take them a minute. I don't want to like backlog ourselves immediately.
No. Nope. This button, which looks the same as the other button. Okay, and this one was set to repeat, right? Okay. We're gonna have to dig more rock, clearly, but that's that's fine. Uh, throne, table. Blocks. I do want a handful of blocks on hand, don't I? Mechanisms. Beds. Bins and barrels. These are all important. Empty bins. Cages, of course. Uh, okay, and then meals. I have I have a note in here to set up work orders for shearing and spinning as well, just so that we have access to thread and stuff, but we don't actually have a creature that we can shear. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that for a moment. Um, but lavish meal. And obviously we want to have unrotten prepared meals. What, I want to have like a hundred meals on hand? And then booze. Brew drink from fruit. And brew drink from plant. hundred drink on hand uh, especially since we're <laughs> we already have that much so the, they won't actually have to do anything here for a little bit I think that's fine um, and I'm gonna say leather armor so we can get everyone in leather armor. Um, I don't need nest boxes yet. We're making wheelbarrows, but we should make step ladders. Okay, that will give them some stuff to do. Holy cow. Um, half of that is going to cancel for like a while, but it's in there now, so they'll figure it out eventually. Um, and then what? Like this, hopefully all this will get moved. Okay. Um, so they're going to get to work on digging all of that. That is just going to keep doing this. Is that what I want? Is that what I want to be happening here? Hmm. IDK. Um, let's start here. 
And then I remember having to do something like this. And I'm going to do... Uh, I don't remember my little constructy trick here. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my. I'm gonna pull up a different reference. Uh, this one. Uh, so yes. So I mostly am looking. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'm doing this. And then that goes like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. No. Uh, I want to. That's right. This is what I was going to do. I'm going to do blueprint mode. So I can unpause and correct mistakes if I need to. Now it's going to go like this, and like this, and like this, and lock uh, this. very least this will get us some stone to start making some of those things with because I don't think we've dug much stone yet I don't even need to go down this far our cave. We're getting there. So help us kind of assess what kind of stone we have down here. I think we kind of know already. There. That'll work. Alright, that all seems fine. Okay. So now I'm going to tell that to be actual designations and our miners will get to work. And then do we have, have we actually placed this? No, not yet. Uh, but I can try to place the other one. Water at this location? Yeah, no joke. There's, there's a lot of water. Jeez, look at all this already. Interrupted by Wombat. Lots of water. Uh, okay, so then... What are you doing? You're hunting. Let's watch our hunter. Chasing after... You're, you're drunk and terrified. Chasing after wombats. Yeah, look. Just chasing after all the wombats. I mean, that'll give us some leather. Man, that dog is helpful. Em embarking with a hunting dog, I think, is smart. We already have food rotten. <laughs> Can I...? Does that work? If food 
food rots when it's not in a food stockpile? Hey, look, some migrants. So if I say that the butcher shop is in a food stockpile, does that just mean it doesn't rot? Uh, okay, first migrant wave. We have a legendary bone carver. Welcome, Zephon. Holy crap. You're, you created, you created a, a thing. Cool. The very first migrant came in with legendary bone crafting. Uh, and my gosh, are you, are you coming here from, uh, Elder Ring? <laughs> oh my God. Does the stuff that they show up with wearing count as created wealth? I would imagine not, but it's not like in parentheses or anything. Huh. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to get some bones for you to start crafting and you're a legendary spinner. You're also the creator of a thing. Oh my God. You're a legendary weaver. You're a yak. You're an adequate glass maker. We have three, three people who have created artifacts just embarking to us with our first embark wave. And you're a legendary dyer. You didn't make anything for it. You're just a legendary dyer. Like... Uh... Site government... The Faithful Ore. Yeah, former member. These people came from... from Face Earths. Did you all come from Face Earths? You... You've be, you are coming from Face Earth, but also somewhere else. Former Fortress Guard. The Big Door. Where's the Big Door from? That's funny. Faithful Ore. Former Militia Dwarf. My God, we're getting a bunch of people from Face Earths, and they're they're super skilled. Oh my God. Okay. Well, that's going to be helpful. Um, are we getting... I mean, we're butchering things, so clearly we'll have bones. They're just all in here, right? Um, so... This craft dwarf... Is... Has made a bunch of stuff. Um, oh, I kind of want to make chalk be a economic stone, don't I? So that we don't just, you know... Use it all. Um, chalk... Dolomite? I didn't realize Dolomite was a flux. Uh, limestone and marble. I'm going to reserve those all as economic stone. So we don't just like eat all of our flux immediately. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and I'm even going to put in a work order. Uh, some of these things are getting made. Oh look, we've already made, we've already made le leather armor. Holy cow. Um... I'm going to say this is a, a work order tied to this shop. It's going to be stone crafts. Or rock crafts, rather. Uh, and it's just going to be, like, five at a time, I guess. Uh, but you're just going to... You're going to repeat forever. And then this one is going to be for bone crafts. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, so you do nothing but that, and you do nothing but that, and then... Uh, so I guess we should have another craft dwarf shop for other things. That's fine. Crafts can just go here. Building present. Okay, so I can't build... Interesting. I can't build a... Workshop on top of a food stockpile, but I can build a food stockpile on top of a workshop. Or no, it just, it just did this. Okay, so it just didn't actually include all this. Okay, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and we're needing more economic hard rock. Uh, okay, so our, our miners. No, not you. You're not making bone crafts. There is someone much, much better at that. Excuse me, you should be digging. Um, 
I mean, you're already... Someone's already doing it, but how do I make... I should I just lock that one person to bone crafting, shouldn't I? Uh, stone carving. Farming related, fishing, metalsmithing, jewelry crafts. Get digging. <laughs> you got um you got automated. <laughs> uh, bone carving. Uh, do I work Monday through Friday? I do work Monday through Friday. I work part-time, but I do work Monday through Friday. Um, so bone carving. Done. So this is bone carving. And you are a legendary bone carving. Legendary bone carver. Um, and I even, I'm going to lock you to it. You're the only one doing bone carving, and that's all you're going to do. Make me some masterpieces. Carp is fighting. Oh dear. Uh, Monday through Friday pain. Although to be fair, it sucks more working when everyone else is off Saturday through Sunday. Yeah. I, I have definitely worked weekends before. It is not my favorite. I'm gonna... Okay, let's try disassembling this. See if people can get things moving. In theory, there's people who are able to, you know, move our move our stuff. Um, I'm gonna assign some wheelbarrows here. That's a smart thing to do. There, done. Are you hauling? You're hauling. You're. Gathering plants. You're gathering plants, that's fair. You're drinking? Okay. Um, and our, our miners are going. Okay. We're striking we're striking ore already. Perfect. Well, the, more chalk. More chalk. If everything's gonna be chalk, then we probably can use it. Because chalk is like inherently worth more. Um, oh, we're still in summer. I am going to want to build a trade depot. Before the doors want to show up. See my computer trying to do something. Uh, is it a construction? No? Oh, it's just, it's just there. I've done that several times, I'm sure. Uh, but I'll just do trade depot and that can be wood that's fine um, and yeah I'm gonna say da, ba, da, ba, da, stone use I'm gonna say chalk can be used for whatever because then that gives us <laughs> a lot more rocks than we would have otherwise yeah it's like all it's all chalk it's just all chalk And then those got made. Okay, so we're our, our caves are sealed. We are draining. That's all good. This is what? Limestone? Limestone's good too, right? What do you use chalk for except like chalk boards? <laughs> I bet it has other uses. Chalk is a flux. Um, chalk, marble... Limestone, dolomite. I think there's another one. Chalk, calcite, dolomite, limestone, marble. Those are the, those are the five flux stones. Um, so if you want to be making steel, you have to have those. There's no replacement for flux stone if you want to make steel, unless you're just like buying steel or something. Are you... you're gathering plants? Yeah. Can I... I know I told you to gather plants, but can I just say it's like... not that big a deal for a moment? Let's just do that for the moment. I'd rather them be hauling for... for right... like right now. Let's 
Stefan has created a masterpiece turkey bone figurine. That was quick, wasn't it? See, we're already up to 17k. We're gonna hit 18k and it's not even fall yet. This is a better first year, I think. Even already. Yeah. Yeah. So not the smart idea why I turn it all into thrones. Um it's fine like so y the the double-edged sword of fluxstone is that it is inherently worth more than every other just common stone uh so a, a chalk throne is worth more than a microcline throne from a value perspective so there is a benefit to using chalk for these things um, like we're going to be making all of our doors out of chalk for the moment that technically helps us with our value right now um, but I also want to keep it for, what are those? I want to keep it for steel. Dingoes. We have dingoes. We have dingoes. Stay away from my horses. And this still isn't, is it because of the, tr the leaves here? Hmm. I guess I don't need to keep everything going. No, no, come on. Construct stair like this. And yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then I want to make cage traps if I can. We already have some mechanisms. Perfect. So that'll help. Do you use chalk IRL for steel? Um, I don't know that you use chalk specifically. I think you can. Um, but you do need a fluxstone. Fluxstones are a real thing. Um, one of the main things about steel that makes it steel is the high carbon content, right? And I think flux helps with that. For a more in-depth explanation, ask someone else. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, we're making stuff. I'm seeing stuff get made here. And then what's all this? Limonite? Limonite's gonna be good. Uh, and then here, this is all limestone. So limestone is also... Like, this is just all... All fluxstone, holy cow. And then, yeah, lignite. So we're gonna get... We're gonna have a good bit of, uh, of fuel in here, too. Because uh, those are kind of the same layers. Yeah, look at this lign lignite. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, cool. And yeah, look at this! Zephon just walked in the door, cold and hungry from the outdoors, and started cranking out masterpiece figurines. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. Cool. Now if we could just get our stuff moved indoors... I am gonna... <laughs> I, yeah, I guess get rid of this stockpile. We have so much rot in here already. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at all this. That's that's just... We've already killed so many things. How many things have we killed? Look at this. This is what our hunter has done. Every single one of these is from our hunter. We killed two porcupines. To my understanding, chalk isn't used in steel production, but it is used in raising pH levels of soil. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't know that chalk specifically... Quicklime? Yeah, quicklime's a thing. Quicklime's a thing in this game. Um, I just don't do it. You could make parchment. Uh, I just It's just not a thing that I do very often. Or ever. And look at all these shells. Perfect. Can you use quicklime for bodies? Unfortunately, no. That'd be cool, though. Like, this is all... Man. Cool. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, so I think our, like, our main workshop floor is gonna go in here. 
so that I can connect it with all this stuff up here. Uh, we'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll blueprint, how about that? We'll do like this, and then we'll do, I liked what I was doing last time, like, um, put four shops in a, in a, in a little pod. That's one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Four, five, six. And then, and then this is all going to be stockpile, right? Or we'll just go up. How about that? Obviously, way overkill for the moment, but that's fine. Um, and then I do want like, we'll do like a stair here. Playing a fairly chill pearl nuzlocke, very fun. Uh, but I got wiped out early, so my team's a bit funky. It's fun though, that's fair. Small amounts of these little things. <laughs> the less usable, the better. I'm. I'm the same way for sure. Um, and then we're gonna do we're gonna do our stair thing again. Cause I liked that. Um and then yeah, and then we're gonna do like this. And that will be our shop floor. Maybe I do, I'm gonna reserve, I'm gonna at least like reserve space here. For stockpile. And then we could say, I'm thinking dining hall should go up-ish. Not, not top top, but like maybe here. No, maybe, maybe here. Maybe this is our fancy things level. Uh, in which case we would put our, our dining hall, something like, something like this. Sure. And then we'll have food stockpile. Let's do let's do like food stockpile and then workshops. that. Uh, so then the access to the food stockpiles there, access to the kitchens there, and they're connected in between there. I think that's fine. And there's room for this to go that way and, and everything like that. That'll all be good. And then we could say this is like for bedrooms. And then there's like plenty of room for everything else. Um, are, are we done digging this spirally bit? Looks like we are. Okay, so then I'm going to tell them to start digging our dining hall so that we can start to maybe get some visitors. Yeah, we're at 13K. Went down already. Oh, come on, people. Is it because everything's rotting? Oh my God. Uh. 
I might even... I'm gonna turn off the fishing, because, like, clearly we don't need food right now. No one, no one fishes for the moment. Uh, stop hunting for the moment. And stop gathering plants for the moment. Just so we can get our stuff sorted. We have two people locked to, to mining, two people locked, or one person locked to bone crafting. Um, and then how are we on, on wood? Do, have we already gone through all of our wood? I guess I can just look up here. Yes, we have. Okay, that's probably an issue. Uh, large. Let's take out some of these small ones. Hey, look! All the stuff is falling. Really don't need logs at the moment. Or, uh, food at the moment. And walnut. I mean, I do want to leave... I want to leave a lot of the food ones. They're like all... It's just all nuts. This forest is nuts. Maybe we'll do, like, the outside stuff here. Okay, okay. Now it's the fall. Cool, cool, cool. Moving right along. This initial, yeah, this first year is just so tight. Just, we just need people. We just need person power. Pine. Pine. A larch. A larch. We have someone on chopping trees, right? They're all gathering plants. Stop gathering the plants. Do I just... I thought I turned it all off. Just, just stop. Or no, because now I have... It probably just said that everyone does it. Yeah, nobody does this. Nobody does this. Nobody does this. And you, both of you can cut wood. That's fine. And our, yeah. There is combat happening. We should probably get a hospital going. That'll probably be a factor. Okay, trees are being felled. Look, like this giant ginkgo tree. I don't know that that gave any extra wood, but whatever. You <laughs> know what a mess. Oh my god. You've gone through all of our bones. Yak calf is starving. Oh, did someone give birth to a yak calf? Oh, they probably brought one. That's fair. Uh, okay, so then we are digging... We're digging this. Okay. Oh, look! Just straight up sapphires? Holy cow. Um, I want to... So this is probably taking rocks? I want to make this not talk, take rocks. Those don't need to be there. Everything else? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to want a lever room, right? Uh, so maybe over... goes over here or you know what I can eat into eat into this a little bit um, our lever room 
Or no, I don't want to go here. <laughs> uh, how's the Moo multiplication plan going? Well, it's only been like six months, so I am pretty sure nothing has happened yet. Now we do have a bull calf. Okay, that's fair. We do have a bull calf, but where's our... What happened to our... Did we lose? Oh, look, a Kia! The Kias are here. Oh no. How did we... Did I get a calf? Maybe I got a calf. In which case, nothing has happened. Hmm. Um. I def definitely need to plan out... Uh, our waterfall situation, so I don't accidentally screw myself on placing things. I think, I think I'm okay. Okay, uh, we got our first caravan. Very, very nice. <laughs> Look at all that junk. Does the game let you breed like Minecraft? I feel like it would, but I also feel like if any game is going to make you worry about the genetic diversity of cows, it's this game. True. Um, you definitely don't have to worry about it. Um, so our broker. Okay, first of all. Um, as far as I know, the, the animals just kind of breed. And you don't have much control over it. You can, um, like you can set where animals are allowed to be. And that will kind of dictate which animals they're allowed to breed with. Uh, but there's not really a whole lot of benefit to doing so, uh, as far as I know. Um, there's no, I don't think it really, it's not really tracking genetic diversity of the creatures. Um, and you're our, you're our broker, right? You are our proficient appraiser. Okay. So Logem. Right. Okay. So request it. And we're gonna move a bunch of our... Yeah, look at the uh, Masterwork Turkey Bone Amulets. Why not? It does feel like the sort of thing that Dwarf Fortress would care about. It's true. Give them time. Don't say it too loudly. Um... Uh, we could also do like rings. You've probably done some your figurines. Here we go. My goodness. My goodness, look at all that. Okay. That's probably that's probably good. Diplomacy! I am your liaison, and I'm going to request all of your leather, please. goodness. Already on a direct line with From Software, getting a direct line with Dwarf Fortress devs wouldn't end in literal tears. Uh-huh. You say Forgotten Beast do, I'm gonna- I might slap you. Um, we could also import some wood. Um, as odd as that sounds, the less wood we chop, the better, because we are going to start seeing agitated wildlife here. Um, so the less of that, the better. And then we can also... I'm, I'm going to hold off on, on gems. <laughs> Might be a thing. Um, but it, is that all I'm... is that all I care about? Yeah. Uh, let's let's say that. That's fine. That's fine. You want cheese? We have a need for cheese. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we're currently sitting at thirteen thousand, and our trader is a proficient appraiser. I'm going to open the thing, and now you are. 
a talented appraiser, and we have 30k. So much better than last time. We barely broke 10k from the first caravan last time. So that's that's an improvement. Patient and poor intuition. And a quarreler and frenetic and zany. My goodness. Okay. Um Okay, so we, we trade. And do you have anything I want? You have rope. You have uh, an instrument, which we could decorate. We can decorate an instrument and call that good. Uh, a cat. Zubat name suggestions. Uh, Jaws. I don't know. I'm not very good at Pokemon names. Uh, Dwarven Ale. I think we're good. A steel pick. Power cap chest. Sand? I don't need sand. Oh, you have cloth. Do you have leather? Do you bring any leather or is it just cloth? Here we go. 85 for a box of leather. A single box of leather? Well, that's fair. A ring. Um, and you have a bunch of meat. I don't think we need meat. I don't think we need meat or fish. Jaws. Excellent. Uh... Bismuth, bronze, greaves, some backpacks. We could, that's fine. I think we have quivers. Holy cow. Spiked steel ball just right there. Okay. Um, some cheese. And instrument parts. Interesting. Oh, and books. Hmm. I think maybe some cheese. Okay, so that'll be exporting 650, which is not much really, but that'll get us started. That is a trade, um, and then you are no longer requested. And then yeah, um, my goodness. So yeah, I want them to dig all this, <laughs> but we're very quickly gonna want like Everything else. A bauxite? Coal? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All much all this good stuff in the ground already. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be our actual food stockpile. Food. It's going to take from here. And this no longer accepts food. Well, I want I want them to move the food first. Um, and then once they're done with that, so they're they're done with that. So now I'm going to tell them to start digging this stuff. All right, that should be. What is this? Chalk? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Let's do that even. Places to put things. Um, and then I'm going to designate for our waterfall system. I'm like, do I... Is this where our waterfall comes from? <laughs> do we just waterfall from the aquifer? It's probably not the worst idea. Uh, okay, so if we're here... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then it's like... No, it was slightly different from... Uh, my picture here. I didn't update my picture. Uh, but we do... This comes down. I go like this. Yeah.
That all seems... That's all correct, right? Just figuring out the bottom's always the hard part. And then, okay, so then that's the bottom. You're digging? You're digging. Okay, good. This goes here. Oh, I did that almost like I did that on purpose. Oh. Yay, migrants! Accidentally on purpose is the best kind of on purpose. It's true. Very true. Also, hi. Uh, migrant wave number two. How many legendary bone carvers do we get this time? You are a legendary gem cutter. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, you are, yeah, uh, faithful ore. And the big door. I wonder where the big door is. Oh, and you're from the, the religion too. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we're finding people who are in our previous fortresses. All just as planned, yeah. Uh, oh, you're a great organizer. You're a ram. You are a legendary carpenter. Holy cow. Proficient boyer. Proficient dyer. Holy cow. So not too many that time. Um, but, you know, that's some more faces. We got some faces now. We're up to 22. With our, with our initial year's worth of, of stuff. Um, our traders are still here, so we're, we're you know, we got 30,000 already. 30,000 already. Um, okay, so then you're, you're working on all this. I'm gonna go ahead and make like a furniture stockpile. It's probably a thing that we need a lot of already. Um, your, your furniture. You're gonna take from the other one. Done. Uh, and food is showing up here. Perfect. So now I want to I want to move the workshops down here as well. Uh, so we're gonna do a pair of stills. And now we have like a whole bunch of bauxite for things. Game Grumps is performing live in my town tonight, but I did not get tickets because the theater they are at has super uncomfortable cramped seats. They're sold out. The show is fantastic. That's fair. Um, I'm really curious about their new tour. Like the, or this tour, I should say, because they're because we've been we've gone to a Game Grumps live before, but um, they're touring with uh, Dadbot now, right? For this this tour, I guess. I I have no idea what they're doing previous ones um they would play um like the one we went to they played mario party it was like they each had uh like they were playing a character but then they split the audience in half and say this half of the audience is playing player number three and this half of the audience is player number four and we all like shout at uh what we do um and that that was that was fun um i forget i think we were dk and the other side was waluigi I can't remember who won, but it was, it was fun. That was fun. It was a good show. Um, anyway, I want two kitchens. I'm just gonna make all of this out of bauxite. Uh, and then a fishery, of course. And then a, a butcher, because of course. And then we already need to dig this out more. Two, three, one, two, three. This can just be dug right now. Uh, oh, and then we need to actually make our dining hall. 
so that people can hang out down here. And we can add this to a new in slash tavern. All visitors welcome. And now maybe people can come visit us. Because that's a thing. And we can make some levers. Uh, machine lever. Blop. Blop. You can just use closest. That's fine. That's probably fine. Door, door. Door, door. Door, door. Door. Okay, we're out of doors. <laughs> uh, so that's all good. Oh, look at all. All the stuff's getting moved. Very nice. Um, so the merchants, I mean, they're still here. We're still at 35k. Okay. Um, I don't think our bone carver probably isn't bone carving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, labor, bone carver. Oh, uh, you're, I mean, you're still locked to it. You're locked to that. Um... Can I... I can put you on this. I can tell you to be a hunter and say nobody hunts. That's interesting. Let's just do that. And then... Yeah. Uh... I don't want to send all the important people out to be plant gatherers. All of all, we'll deal with plant gathering when we need to gather plants. We're good for the moment. This stuff is getting moved. That's good. Um, okay. Making progress. A strange mood. Oh, good. Our gem cutter has had a strange mood. Great. Metalsmith Forge. Well, at least we had the thing. But you're gonna want... You're gonna want art. Uh, you're gonna want bars of metal. Already. 23rd of mid-autumn, and you want bars of metal. Well, I have a smelter here. Um, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a wood burner. So that I can make some charcoal. Wood furnace. It's fine. But we have been finding ore. Yeah, 35k. Look at all that. Okay. Okay, so now make charcoal. Three charcoal. Um, I see much less rotting here. You still... Oh, they actually got... They caught up. Holy cow. Are people... There's people with no jobs. How? Uh, okay. So then... Let's do some stockpiles down here. Um, and that means... That means our miners are, are almost done. Okay. So then... We'll start digging some space for workshops here. Um... We'll do like this. No, we can do all that. Um, I'll even do like this. That's that's fine. This will be fine. This will be fine. Okay. Uh, so you start digging all that, and then I want to start moving some more stuff down here. Um. 
And now I want space for like bones and stuff. So there's gonna be refuse. Just, just turn on everything except for That's, that's probably going to need to be kind of big. Um, and then what else is in here? Oh, finished goods. Um, so you do no furniture. And I'm going to put finished goods in here. All of them. Okay, so you have made charcoal. So I know I need you to be making coke. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a work order for it because that's a thing. We're going to want pretty consistently now. Uh, we'll do five at a time. And we'll say... Um, how much coke do we want? We want like 20. Then what do we have for ore? I mean, we found some tetrahedrite, I'm sure. Do I just start making a bunch of copper? Not a bunch of copper. Some carp copper. A moderate amount of copper. Uh, limonite? Limonite's for iron, right? And tetrahedrite. I have a bunch of tetrahedrite. I did see a bunch of limonite. Um, right, limonite's for iron. Yes, hematite, limonite, magnetite. Let's do limonite. I'm gonna say like two at a time. Yeah. Let's do the same thing with hematite and magnetite. And we'll just we're just gonna get iron going like immediately. That's fine. We're going fast. We're here to go fast. Alright, and we'll do did I say? Did I say ten? This can go at five. And I'll go at five. Okay. Now we have iron going. And they're okay, they've cleaned up up here. Clearly we're not growing anything in here. Maybe I should just go straight and find uh, a deeper cave. Uh, Cause they're all gonna spend some time. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll dig this and then I'm gonna dig down. I should also finish placing our, uh, our waterfall stuff before I get over eager.
On the plus side, I have given them so much to do that I can't just let the game run for a bit without without too much worry about them standing around doing nothing. In theory, I mean, there's two people without a job. One of them's our hunter. Okay, fine. You can go back to hunting. You're not going to have anything to die, though. Or I should say... I go back to here and I say, select to do this. And then, yeah, I'll lock you to it. That's fine. We'll keep the, keep the wilderness a little safe. It's okay to have a few neats in the fortress. Some people stay inside. That's for definite sure. Like our appraiser. Our appraiser stays inside. As much as possible. Part of sele sect selecting things for that starting loadout of laborers, I was trying to figure out like, okay, who's who's gonna stay inside? Who's gonna go outside? Lo-fi chill beats to hear and watch the fortress burn too. <laughs> Not wrong. Okay, so then that's gonna be all the stuff for the waterfalls, right? Now I just need like the top and the bottom bits. Um, so that all got dug. Good, good, good. Uh, so we'll start putting workshops in there, but then I'm going to tell our miners to come down. And come down to the bottom. Uh, and we're just going to keep digging down. All right, and this is like... There's a nice big empty area in the middle here. Can I do like here? Can. So something like this. And I'm gonna do, I mean, just in case, I guess, in case we find more aquifer, I think we're, you know, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just going to go one. We're going to go down. And I want to find another cave. Let's go down on a minus 30. Let's see what that does. Uh, oh, I never built a roof here. I'm going to do f uh, floor. Oh, and then of course it... Hold on. Hold on! Are you... What are you making it out of? I don't see what you're holding. Uh... It was wood. Of course it was. Select. Um, and now we're making a bunch of blocks, so, okay. We should be making a wall soon. That should happen soon. Um, and yeah, you're all, you're all chilling in the dormitory, that's fair. Bedrooms will happen eventually. And I turned off stone for this, right? Yeah, well... Or, nope, 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 nope. Ugh. Ugh. Why is that how it works? Uh, let's just say nothing. This stockpile accepts nothing. You move all your stuff elsewhere. Um, so we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do workshops. That's our next thing. Um, and then all these, these stairs all worked, right? Yeah, cool. Okay. Workshops. Stone workers. Do I do closest? Well, whatever. Uh, sure, we'll use all the chalk. All right here. Um. What else are we doing? I want a mechanic.
carpenter. Probably only usually only need like one carpenter. Or maybe maybe we'll do two. Rarely ever use a boyer, but like I just want to have one. Um, and let's do craft dwarfs. Crafts. Saltpeter. Interesting. Okay. And then what else did we have? Uh, stone crafter, crafts, food shops, carpenter, mechanic, boyer, leather. Smelting stuff. Okay. Gem Cutter has created an iron amulet. Offers it to the big door. Oh, the big door's us! We're the big door! Of course! Our site government is the big door. That's hilarious. Okay. Right? Yeah, you're currently a member of the big door. I love it. Um. Right. Uh, gem stuff. That's what I want. And it's winter. Holy cow. Look at us go. enough. Uh, and then jeweler. And I might say... Uh, I know I'm gonna want smelters. Was, yeah, I'm just, I've not been... Akia has stolen bayberries and a stepladder. Super late night, folks. Okay, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we are, we're, we're, we're on our way. Uh, we are getting stuff done here. Um, oh, before you go, um, I forgot to mention it like in previous streams. I'll mention it in Discord too. Um, but I will not be streaming on this Thursday. I'm going to take a couple days off. So, I'll see you next week. Uh, this is all good. This is all good. Super processed today. Excellent. That's what happens when I have notes. Um, I think we want to link up some letters. I put in a couple more cage traps here. progress. Hey, that works too. Uh, okay, so then let's get rid of some of these. I'm going to get rid of the kitchen. Carpenter. Mechanic. Uh, glass furnace can stay for the moment. Tanner. I didn't put a tanner in our kitchen, did I? I should. Here we go, tanner. Tanner. We're gonna do two of them. People are- are you hanging out? You're socializing? Have I not given you a million jobs to do? Okay. Uh, oh, and look! All the stuff is showing up there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, okay, so then that can go away. Fishery can go away. Leatherworks can go away. Smelter goes away. Butcher goes away, still goes away. 
Metalsmith can stay, wood furnace can stay, craft goes away. That can stay for the moment, and then the stone workers go away. Perfect. Um, if you're all just doing nothing, let's see. Man, we are even so look at all of our workshop jobs already. Holy cow. Um Is there anything I want to bump up? Maybe not. I do kind of want to keep things lean, don't I? Well, I mean, if you're all if you're all just doing nothing and I have a pile of blocks, then I think we start a wall. Um, and our miners, our miners are done. Okay, what did did you find anything? I mean, we dug. We sure did dig. Oh, and there's gonna be there's gonna be some water in here. What's? I know this is wet. Is that just? Yeah, it's just it's just splashing. Okay, interesting. I should have done like a a corner in here or something. Or doors. I just put doors in here. That's all you do. Door. Door. Perfect. Now. Oh, this is already like... Ugh. Okay, fine. Let's go like this. Let's go down. Negative 60. Okay. I'm also going to be a lot more sparing about our courtyard situation. Um, let's go here. I'm gonna link this to here. Uh, so this is going to be uh, underground entrance. And this is going to be the river bridge. there. Perfect. Now... Now for our courtyard. Um, I'm gonna do something similar to last time, but I'm gonna make it smaller. But I'm also thinking of having entrances on two different sides, because there were a couple of times where we'd have people out picking berries and then the goblins would show up and the people wouldn't be able to get inside fast enough. Like, they'd be, they'd be in trees and the goblins would come and then they wouldn't be able to get out fast enough. So I want to make it a little bit easier for people to get inside. Um, right? Uh, but the courtyard itself, I really only want big enough for, like, some fighting to happen. Uh, so I think what's going to happen... That can stay wood, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna say this is one of our edges. I'm gonna come up like this. And we're gonna use... Shirt? We have plenty of shirt, I'm sure. I'm sure of shirt. Uh, so let's do that. And then maybe the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've already got a stack of iron bars there. Perfect. Um, then they can get going on that. We have like a bunch of shirt already. Where's our stones? Stones. Bunch of shale. We have some shirt. Okay, fine. I won't get piggy yet. OK, 
Okay. Uh, okay, so then uh, clearly we need to be moving more of our stuff. And I'm also going to say, let's start digging some of this. want to say like uh keep these stairs going i'm now imagining a bunch of doors porky pigging it around underground because they have a sur have a surplus of shorts and no pants probably not wrong um i mean i did make the iron i make made some leather armor for the purposes of clothing them uh i should probably tell them to actually wear it shouldn't i That's fine, so they'll, they'll dig all that. Um, like, immediately, holy cow. And look, some magnetite! And what's my computer doing? Every time I see the little spinny thing, I get all worried. More chalk, more tetrahedrite. If you're all doing literally nothing, then you can start smoothing. My goodness. That adds to value. Just a BTC miner running in the background. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Is that what these dwarves are doing when they're idling? I told you to mine the rock, not the Bitcoin. Um, okay, so then bars and blocks I'm gonna put downstairs. What else what else do I have up here? Uh like the cloth and stuff. Oh, on the cages? Okay. On leather. Okay. Oh, we can do stone blocks. This is crafts. I kinda swapped Kind of swap where things should go. Uh, let's take this. I'm gonna say. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's do it this way. I'm gonna add a block stockpile. Can't help but notice you have a fantastic frame rate currently. Oh, nice. Um. Should be at 30. Oh, you mean our, our speed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I So previous fortresses, I had it capped at 50 just to kind of even things out a little bit. Uh, but, you know, we're going for speed. So, you know, go fast. Um, with only 20, I mean, with only 20 people here, uh, it'll, it'll keep up pretty good. Uh, where's bar, bar blocks? There. I want to do... Gotta go fast, yes. Gotta go fast. So all of our rock blocks will end up there. Yeah. Uh, and if we make if we make those, yeah, fine. They can go there. That's fine. Ram is starving. And look at all these animals we have. Um, okay, so then I should chop down some trees. We like these, and of course I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna build on top of our. Uh... Okay, so then this is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 ish. Oh, something like this. Uh, we have a bunch of. It'll be 
a mishmash wall, and that is fine. Um, is that is that a square? Here, this helps a little. Surprise! There's no ruler functionality to let you select an area, tell you the dimensions of an area. I mean, you should have seen it before the Steam version. Your ruler was the fact that you could only place 10 things at a time. Uh, I'm just checking our, our squareness here for the sake of being persnickety about things. So I want like two more. Um, but in truth, not really because I'm going to have How am I going to do this? Okay, so then this is our the corner. if there's a shape that defeats enemy pathfinding or causes interesting behaviors. Um, ramps can be weird. What, 17? Here. Uh, of course, I want to chop down that one. I have 17. I guess I can do that and then that. Okay, that works. That works for me. What are we up to? We're up to 38k. Is our is our legendary bone crafter friend? Oh, you're not doing anything. Is it because we're out of bones? I don't see any bones. You probably go through our bone stockpile real fast, don't you? Oh, I probably also disassembled the shop that was tied to the thing, so. I can fix that. And look at this. People aren't doing anything. Okay, we clearly need to get some jobs going. Um Right, so work orders. Let, so blocks is going to keep going, so that's totally fine. Um, I need to add the bone crafts and the rock crafts back, because those were tied to that workshop. So. You are bone crafts. You do not take work orders. Uh, but you have... A bone craft repeating job. And then you're gonna do I don't know, two at a time. As long as you have four unrotten parts. Do that forever. And then this one is rock crafts. You do not take work orders. You have a rock craft job. You do two at a time, as long as you have some rocks. Perpetually. Okay. And then how are we on leather? Do we have... Do we have a bunch of leather? I doubt it. Tan hides. We have 13 tan hides. Okay. Uh, so let's do just another batch of 10 leather armor. 
That'll be good. Oh, and then gems. That's a thing, too. Uh, this is all looking fine. Uh, so I'm going to do... Right, here's our here's our stuff. Okay, so then here's going to be uncut gems and cut gem. Uh, okay, accept. And then cut gems. Cut gems. Thank you. Oh my god. My brain has become fried. There we go. So you're going to be uncut gems. You're going to be cut gems. Like that. And then... Like this. And then we want like our metal bars and stuff down here. Yeah, you can also have that. That's fine. We'll just we'll just say that you are bars. Um, we have mechanics, we have carpenters, we have leather. Okay. Um, how's our miners doing? The miners aren't doing anything. Is that because they got down? Or because they gave up? I mean, they made it. They made it this far. Okay. We probably just, you know, went between some caves. Um, but I'm just going to keep going down. Let's try... Let's try minus 90. What's down there? Akia has stolen a pigtail cloth. Yay. Now, I want some more walls. So this side is going to be for our traders. How do, I, how do I do this? So the actual trader entrance is going to be here. So that I do a wall like this. I guess. Uh, if Kias in this game are anything like Kias in real life, they will tear your entire fortress apart if you let them. Yes. Yes, they will. gonna do this. I don't want to have too much. Of course I'm gonna have to cut more of these trees. Why? No! Okay. And I think they can do that? Because like, a caravan needs a three-wide pathway. But I think they could turn a corner like that. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but then I want to do another switch back, basically. Okay. 
So then that's that side. And on this side, something has collapsed on the surface. What does that mean? Oh, is it the tree? The tree fell down. That does happen sometimes. When you're chopping them. <laughs> oh, we should have like a... Um, a whatchamacallit? A hospital probably soon? Um, and I'm just going to do something like this. And we've gone through all our blocks. Okay. Um, and obviously we'll have to put some floor over this, but that's also fine. That is fine. Yeah, I think this is a manageable size. This gives us a little courtyard to fight in if so, for when you know some goblins get in. Uh, but it's not so big that this took us forever to make. Um, and then our, our pasture, we could say our pasture is just this inside bit. And that'll make them minimally safe. Yeah. Frischerdorf has created Vaustelseg. Kid at Monag, a chalk door. Neat. You made a chalk door for the big door. You made the big door. Thank you. How kind of you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to want a bridge here. We already have a bunch more chalk blocks. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to put floor here, probably the simplest method, and then wall, like that, Bam. and then as far as our rocks go, we are, we have found a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, hey look, some platinum! Bauxite, okay. Um, bauxite is cool because it's magma safe. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna say chalk is now an economic stone. You reserve it for things. Okay, I mean, simple enough, right? That horse is freaking out. <laughs> are there are there Kias up there? No, there's not actually. Okay. Uh, but that means we have more places for. Oh, like, uh, there's just a, a turkey gonna wander in. Uh, traps, cage traps. Alright, yeah. Perfect. And now we have some more things to link to our levers. Uh, so this is gonna be yard north and this is or yard south Oop. oh we need to make more more mechanisms of course that's fine they'll work on it um oh and we should move all these we should make some more anvils I'm gonna make three iron anvils. Because that'll give us four total.
Um, look, they've already they've just smoothed the whole thing out. Okay, cool. Um, door, door. And there's a named door. Where should the named door go? The named door should be for the food. Let's put the named door here. Perfect. Every time someone wants a meal, they have to go through the, the fancy door, the big door. Uh, all right, so then I'm also going to set up a work order for cutting gems. Um, and I'm gonna, this is slightly different from how I did it last time. Um, I Previously, I would just do uh, uh, what you would call it. I would put, cut gems on repeat on the workshop itself and then just kind of periodically come back to it. Uh, the only problem with that is that every once in a while you get a strange mood that wants rough gems specifically. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a cut gems job. I don't care about large gems. I don't care about large gems. Um, but as long as we have more than like 20 rough gems, we'll cut two, we'll cut two gems. So then we'll always have uh, some rough gems on hand. Uh, but then they'll cut, they'll cut all that stuff. That'll work fine. I'm tempted to even get steel going already. I mean, we have we have fuel. We've been finding plenty of fuel. We've been finding ore. We've been finding flux. Let's just get let's just get steel going. Uh, so we need to smelt pig iron or make pig iron. Make pig iron bars. Uh, it's gonna be two at a time. Right. And then these can all be at like five. And then pig iron. I'm gonna have, I guess 10 is fine. 10 is fine. And then make steel. Steel, steel, steel. Make steel bars. There it is. And same thing. Two at a time. Steel. Big iron. Flux and coal. Is everything that's needed for that. Um, and we'll just keep... I'm going to say like 20. And they'll, they'll start working on that. Let's see now our our records have updated lower again. Look at all that. We're still making more masterworks. We're finding a lot of gems. Look, we're finding platinum. Look at platinum. Uh I'm just gonna even go in and say auto mine is platinum. That, that's fine. And then where was the other one? Not gonna show me the other one. Okay. Let me come in here. Where... Where does me finding rocks show up? Environment? Yeah, okay. Do do Borax? <laughs> See, I don't... Yeah, it's not very helpful. Hey, we found some platinum. Well, cool. uh, clearly our miners need some more jobs. And there's plenty more things to dig. Um, I'm going to say just dig all this out.
Uh, that is not what I meant to do. I'm going to come in here and do the same thing. Yes. You can dig all that. Right. I overshot it. Oh uh, no! Just it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. So then you're gonna dig all that. And now, and now it's spring. Holy cow. We have gone basically a full year. And it's five o'clock. Okay, so maybe we call that good. Even though, like, we're on a roll here. But okay, holy cow. Um, this first year went a lot better than the last first year. I can say that. Feeling a lot better. Um, our first caravan went out reporting, like, two to three times more starting wealth for us. So hopefully this next year's worth of of um, migrant waves will be sizable, um, and then we'll keep digging this out. I mean, we have our workshops, we have our our food area. Um, we need to get a hospital. We need to get bedrooms, uh, and then we need to get our waterfalls going. Like, I mean, our mood. Holy cow! Hardly even need it. Is it because? Um, I mean, no one's using this stairwell. I guess they are using it a little bit. I guess they are getting waterfalls from that. That's hilarious. Um, so it's probably helping in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll get we'll get some furniture in here. We'll get some mugs for them. We'll we'll keep going. Um, I mean, look, we're at we're at thirty k. We have, uh, is our, is our guy going? Is there, so things are getting cut. Have we, we've used all the bones. There's basically no more bones. Our hunter's probably still going. Oh, you're drinking, that's fine. Um, and then like our, like our butcher? Our butcher is empty. Wow. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, that's good. Oh, and Trading Depot. Uh, we'll get our Trading Depot moved inside. And that'll be fine. And then we'll get a, a wall going up on this so that we can start training some people. Holy cow. Look, look at our world map. We are completely surrounded by friendly sites. All the blue is our civilization. And we are, we are here. The Dwarven Fortress of Fated Sling. Site government, the big door. I love it. Um, but there's all these, there's all these dwarf sites around us already. There's some more that can be, that can pop up around us. I'm hoping that once we start getting some real wealth going that they attach themselves to us and then we can request people from there. And then that'll be good. And hopefully nothing comes from the tower. Oh my god. That would be a whole thing, wouldn't it? Um Yeah, okay. I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna stop here. That was a good first year. That was a good first year, I think. Um I'm going to similar to last time, I'm going to do some blueprinting between streams. So uh, you know, you'll see bedroom and stuff uh, pop up in there, but um, I'm going to keep them simple. I'm going to keep it pretty lean, even compared to the previous fortress. Um, and keep it simple. And then in between hospital and bedroom and trade depot and military stuff, I guess that's also a thing. So that's most of it, right? That's most of it. And then we'll get some steel stuff going, and then we'll start training some people, and then 
And then, yeah, <laughs> um, we might get, start getting some goblins to show up, but we'll be prepared from this time. Um, I'm not going to just give everyone leather stuff and, and pray. I'm actually going to make some steel stuff. And I'm going to get some people started on training shortly. Um, probably within the next one or two migrant waves. Um, clearly we have people standing around. Clearly there's some spare labor. Um, but then we'll keep digging. We'll start making some instruments. I didn't notice any handy... Um, any metal instruments that are made out of just one piece, like our other civilization. Uh, so I'm curious if that, like, is a real hindrance, if we don't have that. Um, that would be interesting. Um, just glancing here at what else we're, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna get, uh, like, porcelain stuff going. I have seen some, some Kalanite. Uh, and we got plenty of fuel. So, we'll start cranking out some porcelain statues. Yeah. Wow, we are... Okay, shop floors, bedrooms... Oh, and nobles' quarters, I guess that's fair. Man, we are on... Phase 6 slash 7 of my little plan here. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, cool. And some of this, like, a lot of this is leather stuff, so, like, we're waiting for our, uh, the next caravan so we can... Uh, trade for a bunch of leather. Cool. Okay. Um, so that was that was nice. I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling pretty good about this. So um, I'm gonna take a little bit of time off. I'm going out of town uh, this weekend, so I'm not going to stream this Thursday, Saturday, or next Monday. Um, I guess I'm gonna take a week off. Uh, so come back on Thursday after this Thursday. Um, and we'll we'll continue right here. We're gonna go fast. We're gonna go as fast as we can. See how fast it, we can hit Metropolis. And uh, and then that that following Saturday, come by and we will probably be wrapping up Recall, which was a cool game. I thought it would be cool, and it was cool. And I think we're about halfway through. Um, it's nice and uh, it's got some puzzles. It's mind bendy. We're messing with people's memory. It's, uh, yeah, it's great fun. So come by if you want to see the conclusion to that. But otherwise, uh, oh, and, uh, today's episode was brought to you by the sun. That thing that's going to go away for a while. Get it while you can. It's been raining, like, all day. It's been raining for, like, three days. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah. Um, but also by you. Like in those buttons, it is still sub September. I guess this is my last September stream. Uh, so get your button clicking in while you can. Because uh, that is immensely helpful to me. That is the thing that is, that's, that's keeping me going forward right now. So I appreciate all that you're doing. And I hope you stay kind.